Hi and welcome everyone, Lisa from the Relativity of Paper. Today I want to talk to you real quick about the new monthly social media challenges at the Crafting Desert Divas Facebook gallery page. Those are new, we're no longer doing linky parties, so please join us in the gallery on Facebook so that you can join in the challenges there. You can just request to join the group, no problem, you'll be accepted. Once you're in the group, you want to check out the files folder because that's going to give you the requirements to join in the challenges. Off the top of my head, I can tell you three main requirements. You have to use CDD products, you have to share on social media, and you have to use hashtag CDD monthly on, while you're sharing on social media. The next thing you're going to want to do is check, um, go over to the photos and look at the albums under photos and there you'll see the monthly social media challenges and there you're also going to find a mood board for inspiration. So this month, September's mood board is really kind of a fall down on the farm theme and you want to pull your inspiration from the pictures that you see here. For me, the sunflowers and the colors, the reds and the blacks and the browns are what done it for for me. So that's what I'm going to be creating my project from. So I'm going to be using Crafting Desert Divas Autumn Wishes stamp and die bundle set and I'm going to use the sunflower and the sending sunshine sentiment and then I'm going to use the sunflower die that coordinates with this and I'm going to die cut three sunflowers out of some Canson watercolor paper and I'm going to stamp those with Onyx Black VersaFine ink and watercolor those up with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens and a Pentel water brush. I use the colors bright yellow, yellow, light green, olive green, dark brown, and beige to color these. Now I wanted to create kind of a bouquet so I took a little piece of twine and tied them together and um, tied it in a bow. Then I decided on my colors of my papers so I'm using an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of 110 pound white cardstock from Michaels. I've scored that at five and a half inches and cut it at four and a quarter inches to create two top tent fold cards. I'm also going to be using a piece of black 110 pound cardstock from Michaels for matting. And I'm going to use my ATG gun and run some adhesive along the edges and down the center and center that up on my white cardstock. And then I'm going to be taking some Kaiser Craft journaling paper that I picked up at Joann's to create another layer. And I use the Crafting Desert Divas Fancy Frame dies to die cut this layer out. Here you'll see the fancy frame dies. This is an absolutely amazing set of dies. I love this die. So what I'm doing here is I die cut the paper from Kaiser Craft and I'm adding some fun foam to the back of it. And I'm going to put some sequin tape down on the back of that fun foam and adhere it to that black matting that I have down. And then I'm going to be using a piece of fancy pants pattern paper and add another layer that I die cut using the fancy frame dies from Crafting Desert Divas. So then what I wanted to do was pop those sunflowers up. So I'm using some scrapbook 3D square foam adhesives and I purchased those from Crafting Desert Divas and I'll be sure to link all this stuff for you. So I popped those sunflowers up off of the front of the card and then I decided where I wanted to put my little pendant with my sentiment on it and I decided I wanted it around the uh, stems of the flowers but I didn't want it to push down on the stems of the flowers so I'm only adding the squares to each side and I'm, I'm doubling up the layers on there and I'm going to put that right over those stems and I intentionally didn't put any adhesive in the center of that little pendant so that it wouldn't um, stick to my stems and they would be more like they were kind of just free and you'll see that here and that's all that is to creating this card it's so easy I'm just going to center this up and then give it a little push down and you'll see it stays above that and it doesn't put any pressure down on those stems so here we are sending wishes. This is my design team inspiration. Hopefully it inspires you guys to come and join us for the new monthly social media challenges with Crafting Desert Divas on the Facebook gallery group. Thanks for joining and I hope you'll join me again. Have a great day.